Gold Squad TV. Alright, so this is probably gonna be my last video tonight, but I have to say something. It's nothing new. Everybody knows I'm anti Brad Stevens. But I want you guys to take a uh well, I want to take a deeper dive on this. I don't even want to sound like I'm hating. When does it become time? Where Brad Stevens' voice gets old in that locker room. I asked that question. He's been here seven going on eight years. He still has not proven he could coach a team with talent. So you have this season, you have Kemba Walker, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart, Tristan Thompson, Peyton Pritchard, Semi Ojale. Daniel Tice. And I've just named at least seven or eight players at least. Um, Jalen Brown and JT and Kemba Walker are your three stars. Marcus Smart's your high level role player. Tristan Thompson's another high level role player and a former champion. Daniel Tice is a decent level role player. You got Time Lord. I forgot him. It's in Time Lord. I mean, the reason why I'm bringing this up because today he started Grant Williams in the lineup. Grant wasn't bad. He had a couple of moments where he made some stops but also gave up some buckets. Um... Can somebody please explain to me why Javante Green was playing in the fourth quarter? Crunch time minutes. So I have no problem with Javante Green. I want everybody to understand. I love Javante Green. I love what he does in the limited minutes he plays. So and he's in a five to six minute span. I love what he does. After that span of time, he has nothing else to give to the game. He could steal the ball, he could dunk it, and maybe make an occasional three. That's all he really could do. He's a very limited player. I have no issue with Javante Green. My issue is with coaching. Why is Brad Stevens throwing away a game when we had the lead? It was very winnable. Why is why and why? Does he feel he needs to have a teachable moment? Then we get Javante Green in there, which is just a coach trying to bust his creative nut instead of just going with the proven veteran, Semi Ojale, in that situation. Semi probably doesn't allow that three pointer in the corner that Danny Green hit. Semi Ojale is a much better communicator on defense. He probably would have took some pressure off of, you know, Tyson and, um, and Thompson because of his. You know what I mean? This his defense. Uh, excuse me, but his defense. This leads me to a bigger. This leads me to a bigger um point. I don't think we're ever. I, I don't care if we have a full squad. I don't care if we add another player to the trade exception. I don't care if we're the best team in the East for the next two three years. I don't think we're ever gonna win. An NBA title with Brad Stevens as our coach. When as Brad Stevens is the head coach of the Boston Celtics, I just don't see how he's gonna ever win a title. I he truly does not value regular season games and and seeding. Doesn't seem to understand that the regular season is not a time. To bust your creative coach nut and basically experiment. It's not the time for it. Especially this year, considering you can't afford to lose. The East is so strong this year. First six or seven teams in the East. We we started this tonight at number one, right? We lose the next game. We legitimately could be the sixth seed. You understand how much of a free fall that is? We could legitimately go from being first in the East to the sixth seed if we lose on Friday. 
You can't make the excuse that it's early in the year. We're in a 72-game schedule. Now, mind you, Tatum wasn't able to play today. He didn't get to play the New York games. So we're one and two without Tatum. But it still doesn't change the fact, even with Tatum, I don't think we're ever going to win a title. I just don't. I don't think we're ever going to win a title with Brad Stevens as our coach. That system is just not conducive to winning. And more importantly than just that, it's just he probably could win something if he actually made a decision that was smart. See, the old school coaches were smart. The old fraternity, the Phil Jacksons, the Popoviches, and the George Carls, and the Larry Browns, they were like, yo, listen, I'm not putting this dude, I am not putting Javante Green in a moment that's too big for him. They would be like, you know what? Nah. We don't we don't need to do that. We just throw a veteran in there or we'll go find somebody off the street that's played big games, sign them, and put them in that position. It is what it is, man. I just I just don't really believe in Brad Stevens. I never have. And we'll find out after this year or the year after or whatever happens. What's going to happen to Brad? Because enough's enough. Just enough's enough, man. Costing us way too many damn games, these experimental lineups and shit. I'm getting too cute. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe. Gold Squad TV. And I'm out for the night. Salute.